What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JB360. So, quick little video here. I'm actually going to be swapping out the old stock battery on the uh, Will Mason uh, for a new 72 volt battery. Um, so this is the new battery right over here. This is actually from a Wolf King GT scooter. So this is about 72 volt, 35 amp hours. Uh, and it's using um, LG cells, I believe the M50 LTs, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna connect that to the far driver controller that's located in here. And as you can see, it's quite a rat's nest in here. So I'm gonna be organizing that a little bit. The old stock battery is actually over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's the old stock battery. Um, it kind of had a pretty low BMS, so the scooter was cutting out quite often. Again, just a reminder, the battery that uh, was shipped is not the actual battery that uh, you'll be getting if you decide to go with Will Mason. Uh, they've updated their uh, battery, the stock battery that it comes with. So the one that I had was basically like a test, like temporary battery. So the ones that you guys will get will have a higher BMS, higher output, and um, yeah, not this <laughs> crappy one that I have over here. So anyways, guys, let's uh, connect it to the far driver and uh, see how it runs. So the <clears throat> Wolf King GT battery actually uses these like special um, bullet terminals. So I decided to um, make a mail connector that connects directly to the controller over here. That's just kind of a matter of uh, connecting the positive and negative to those terminals, the respective terminals. So, yeah, hopefully things work well. All right, guys. So we are back on the Will Mason. Man, we've gone through about two batteries, two bad batteries. So this is the third battery that I'm uh, testing out on the Will Mason. It's actually a... Uh, 72 volt Wolf King GT battery. So I just tuned it and hopefully everything works decent. Uh, the issues that I was having with the first and second battery are really honestly the BMS was not that good. Um, I believe the first battery that I had used uh, was about an 80 amp BMS. And the second one was also an 80 amp BMS, so it's not um, not ideal really for the type of power output that the uh, moped uh, is requiring, unfortunately. So uh, the previous two times, uh, I was getting a lot of uh, motor cutoff and uh, basically um, controller shutdown. So you can you can cross. Yeah, too close. So, let's see how this uh, motor performs with the uh, new battery. Um, the pack, uh, this 72 volt pack comes with a dual discharge. Um, so it's not running uh, the current just through sort of this like one, one, uh, one wire or two wires, I guess. So, so far so good. I also decreased the uh, throttle voltage to about um, 0.85 on the far driver app. So, so far so good. Usually the bike would just shut off at like, um, like 30 miles an hour once we hit that uh, 30 mile an hour mark. I'll show you guys also, I also installed um, some new rear, rear tail lights. Uh, it was so hard to see the, uh, the tail light, uh, with the stock, uh, stock placement. It's like, un it was like under the uh, storage basket. So it's kind of hard to see, but, uh, looks like, uh, where I have it right now is actually pretty good. All right. So, uh, this is going to be a top speed test. Uh, we're not at full charge. We're about at like 76.3 volts. Um, 
So we're not at full charge, but uh, we're still gonna test out top speed here. All right, here we go. Let's kind of ease into it a little bit. on mode three. speed run not too bad 44 miles an hour we gained maybe about a couple miles an hour more than when we had the uh, 60 volt battery so not too bad not too shabby I do need a longer stretch of road honestly <laughs> we're almost at about 72.5 volts but so far this thing is running pretty good not too bad man this thing is it's so nice man and if it if you ride it for kind of what it is which is not like this is not going to be a straight dragster this is not the type of you know pv that it is this is mainly a cruiser you know just to kind of like take with you on the beach and stuff like that maybe just kind of like cruise around even like upstate or something you know where uh possibly take this on uh, you know the mountains on the roads and stuff like that not off-road but you know uh, at least on the uh, on the local road pretty nice these uh, foot pads are really really comfortable It. gotta love it now the thing that's tripping me out a little bit is the uh, gauge is saying um, 74.5 volts but the uh, percentage isn't changing so as always with any PEV always make sure you pay attention to the voltage rather than the uh, percentage because it's usually never right <laughs> One thing I do wish is, uh, I do wish that the uh, Will Mason came with some better bears. Uh, these are like your, I guess, standard uh, motorcycle mounted bears, but they're like kind of dinky. Also, guys, before I forget, <laughs> before I forget to mention, uh, today is April 5th. We actually uh, experienced a uh, 4.8 earthquake. Originated in New Jersey, but was felt throughout uh, New York City and uh, parts of the uh, Northeast. Uh, so yeah, 4.8 magnitude. It's kind of crazy. You don't get that uh, often here, um, especially in uh, New York, to say the least.
here. Feeling nice though, feeling nice. Even though uh, there wasn't much of a speed increase, uh, it's nice just to finally take this thing out, you know? I enjoy riding it. the moped is just uh, a lot more comfortable. Why are you riding your scooter on the opposite side? It went, oh my god, That's so stupid. So dumb. Alright guys, so we have the Will Mason here, the T1, the Touring Edition, and uh, it has a new 72 volt battery pack uh, within the frame over here. I'm going to switch to the, like I mentioned before, the Wolf King GT battery and it's running great. Um, I'm low voltage right now so I'm at about 35%, 30%. I saw the uh, new brake strip over here. I'm paying attention to my <laughs> little vanity plate here. Um, do plan on getting it registered and uh, possibly, possibly insured so we'll see. Um, but as I, you can see, as I mentioned before, the brake light is kind of under here, so you can't really see it too well um, under this uh, basket here. So I decided to put another one up here. Uh, it also has similar capabilities as well. Um, also signals up here. One of the few vehicles you could really kind of use like all season, you know. Uh, I've taken this actually once during the rain, uh, during a bad rainstorm actually, and it was just running running smoothly I didn't get any uh, any issues with water getting away from the frame everything was pretty sealed uh, uh, relatively well so yeah no issues with that so the throttle is a little bit twitchy um, I have the throttle setting to uh, it's called line or normal and uh, that's like usually the middle ground for throttle, throttle setting. Uh, there's Eco, Line, and uh, Sport. I'm not gonna mess with Sport. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna kill uh, kill the controller again. Um, I may or may not try for one last speed run. See if I can break 45 miles an hour. 24 hours later. Alright guys, so uh, I was able to charge for just a little bit, a um, couple hours or so, and uh, got some voltage back, about like 83 volts, so I'm uh, going to go test out the final top speed on a longer strip of road. Ooh, so much zippy here off of a charge, man. <laughs> Very zippy.
cool, man. I think it's awesome. Like, no lie, if you were to, um, if you were to look at this, like, just from, from another car or something like that, automatically, at first glance, it looks like a motorcycle. Like, one of those, like, uh, cruiser type of bikes. Not like a Harley or anything like that, but, um, you know, something, like, touring inspired. But, yeah, it's awesome. bend and you had just a long strip of road you could definitely hit 50 miles an hour for sure that's not a problem what I mentioned before I used the Wolf King GT battery you can actually get these batteries on the Voro website for like a thousand bucks I think which is honestly a honestly a pretty good price for uh, 35 amp hours of the volt not that bad and uh, you're able to run 100 amps Figure, you know they're they're pretty well pretty well built packs. Um, and if you notice, they run dual discharge in order to handle uh, scooters, just like the uh, Wolf King PT. So, uh, and, and the Wolf King PT goes like 65 miles an hour. So you're, you know, granted, you want something that's uh, that can handle that type of power. All right. The best thing about this is. Pretty secure here. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. Turns off the scooter. And uh, so the uh, Will Masons, I forgot to mention, they don't come with an ignition. Uh, so everything is either done by a remote or by app. So uh, it's just more for security purposes. So no one can just kind of like hack into the ignition or just like pull it out. So uh, yeah, another little tidbit for anyone that's curious as to why there's no key ignition and stuff like that. Everything's either done through done through this fob or uh, through the app. Thank you. All right, take care. Oh yeah, guys. I don't know if y'all like uh, Polish food, but we got these pierogies right here. So in order to turn the uh, scooter on, what you need to do is you need to hit this button twice. The, uh, uh, the alarm with the X button, hit it twice to activate the ignition. And now your scooter's on. Uh, obviously the lock feature here locks the scooter. I mean the lock feature locks the scooter. Unlock, unlocks the scooter. guys so just a little bit of a quick walkthrough with the scooter we replaced it the 60 volt battery that it uh, came with temporarily with a uh, 72 volt battery from a wolf king gt scooter so everything's good on that end um other changes to the scooter not really much has changed um there were these like leather like covers on the throttle and uh, i did not like the way <laughs> that those felt they were kind of like um almost slipping in a sense when you would like pull the throttle so i just i just removed them so uh the grips that are on uh underneath the leather throttle are actually 
really fine. Brakes are really good. Uh, really nice motorcycle brakes. These are Brembo's. And uh, suspension is outstanding. Uh, probably the best PV suspension I have uh, in my lineup right now. <laughs> Even better than the Bomber. But yeah, other than that, uh, another thing I forgot to mention, there are passenger um, foot pegs here. You just kind of have to um, obviously remove this section here uh, and remove this mount in order to access the uh, passenger uh, foot pads. So you can actually uh, ride with two up with no problem. Heater works really nice. I actually had it on uh, for most of the ride and uh, man, my butt was feeling nice and warm. <laughs> so awesome, awesome added feature. Uh, to the T1 so I would definitely highly highly recommend it if you're someone that does like to ride seasonal uh, especially in like rain and, and not too much not too much rain I wouldn't ride in like a tsunami or anything like that but light rain is fine uh, I would say snow is okay depending on the area uh, if it's not too icy right um, but yeah other than that it's been good so far I was glad to finally ride this thing and bring it out and test it out so 49 miles per hour on the odometer on the gps not too bad i think it could hit 50 for sure but yeah guys if y'all like the content please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one peace